Ladies and Lamont. My mother-in-law lives in Arkansas, mm -hmm. and I thought about how far away we live from her, because mm -hmm. this was this huge fear of yours, is that mm -hmm. Amy, whose family is on the East Coast and in, and in Chicago, was going to up and move with this precious thing that has, mm -hmm. that you are so deeply attached to, mm -hmm. sort of the moment she admits she's pregnant. Right. And so I wonder for mm -hmm. all of us who have taken our babies away from our mothers and our mother-in-laws, should we all move home? Uh, no one should move home. <laughs> um, everyone should stay where they are because everything you need is right where you are and everything you need and are searching for is inside. And the way to be a good mother-in-law, I'm saying this to your mothers because you all look very young and uh, very thin. Some of you may be too thin. Um, Do you want to ID anybody? <laughs> Um, I'm not going to name names, but um, yeah. um, Ann Harper. <laughs> but the thing is, you become—you don't know how to be a mother-in-law any more than somebody be, knows how to be a mother or father. You learn um, as you go, and you—you you have to. It's like with writing and shitty first drafts. You have to be willing to make a lot of mistakes, and you have to be willing. Before I turned on Woody Allen, he had that great line that 80%. Um, yeah, as 80—that 80% 80 of life was just showing up, and you show up and the mother-in-law is going to have um, control issues is just going to and she's going to be very sensitive because she's going to be madly in love and mothers-in-law have to learn to manage their own emotional um, um, expression which is to say to not inflict their good all over everybody <laughs> um, and you need to be willing to do to do a bad job and you need at like with a writer you need to be able to hear when people are telling you the truth and you and when if people say you need to back off it's very painful now I as a writer can't stand criticism I'm so in the wrong business I have a book out in five days and I already feel like well it's completely tanking and it hasn't come out yet <laughs> and um, when I give my work to people to read and they say you know what the, the beginning the lead doesn't really work for me I, I was sucked in by about page seven but I think you could start at the bottom of six I feel like oh god thank you so much but we're not friends anymore <laughs> um, because yeah now I hate you and I just wish ill for you and your and your family everyone in your family um, and so for people to say, or for Sam or Amy to say, you need to back off. This isn't your decision. You feel like, ah, 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 you know, and, and then you need to be able to be a grown up about it and go, you know what? They're right. This is their kid. It's their sink. And you, and you get to make mistakes and they get to make mistakes. And there's a great acronym I've heard, and it's called, this is for the mother-in-laws, um, WAIT, W-A-I-T, and it means, why am I talking? <laughs> and and most, most of the time, nobody wants your input. They don't want your suggestions on, on the feeding schedule for the baby. And you have to ask yourself, why are you talking, since every time you talk, people stop talking to you. So um, for me, the, and I learned to grip myself very gently. I learned to be militantly and maternally on my own side because your kids and the grandchild, the kids are not going to be. They need to be there for themselves. They need to be there for a baby. You all remember when you have a baby or a little one, you're tired beyond any any other experience that you've ever had unless you were a huge meth head, you know? <laughs> and, which I was. I happen to and love methadrine, right? And I think guys. some of you, yeah. yeah. We'll talk later, though. And, <laughs> and, we, and we both think you're doing really well, don't we, Kelly? Yes, we, we, do. Do. we do. We're very pleased with your progress, mm -hmm. but um, you're, the, the kids teams. are so beyond tired, beyond exhausted, stressed, they're terrified and they're madly, madly in love and they need people to keep saying, wait, why am I talking?